Hello there, I hope you're still fine. We are going to go through four steps of obtaining clean milk during the milking process. The four steps, in the four steps of four sentences, explain the procedure of, of, of obtaining a clean milk during the milking process. The first step is you assemble your milking equipment. Assemble your milking equipment like the buckets, cans, strip cups, ropes, and they should be clean. That's the first step. Then the, se the second step is you put the cow in the milking place. Put the cow in the milking place. You then have to tie, uh, to tie the hind legs. You tie the hind legs and then um, you wash your hands and the other with the teeth. Step three, uh, you have to give the cow something to eat during the milking process to keep it busy. You have to give it some feeds to keep it busy. And after that, you have to run streams of milk through the strip cup. You have to run some streams of milk through the strip cup. We shall talk about why. Then finally, step four, after milking, you clean the milking place and the milking equipment. Clean up the milking place with uh, disinfectants, clean the, uh, the milking equipment, and then take them back, keep them in a sterile place to prevent contamination and infection. Can I go through the steps again? Okay. Step one, um, assemble your milking equipment. Remember, you last cleaned them. You cleaned them. The last thing you did was to clean them the last time. So you assemble your clean milking equipment, put them in one place. Milking equipment like buckets, cups, strip cups, ropes, and the rest. Then step two, put the cow in the milking place, tie the hind legs, and then wash your hands wash the udder and teats. There are reasons why you are washing your hands and washing the udder and teats. We are going, I'm going to talk about those later. Then, step three, give it something to feed on. Give it some feed. There's what they call diarrhea chew. It's like chalk, but brownish. To keep it busy during the milking, and then you run streams of milk through the strip cup to detect the presence of mastitis. You may not include that in the first steps. Then, finally, after you have done your milking, uh, you have to clean the milking place with disinfectants because milk attracts a lot of bacteria. You have to clean it using disinfectants, clean up the, the milking equipment and keep them in a sterile place. Okay, some few questions to ask. Uh, why do we have to wash our hands to remove germs and dirt? Why do we wash the udder and teats before milking? Uh, there are two main reasons. We wash it using warm water. There are two reasons. One, to remove the dirt and germs. And two, to stimulate the milk let down. Then why do we have to test for, why do we have to run the, the, the milk through a strip cup to test for the presence of mastitis? Yeah. And then in case there's any, there's any pass, stains in the milk or blood stains, you have to milk that animal last to prevent it from uh, infecting other animals. Thank you.